Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy President's Day. Monday morning. I'm up in Area 4 at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Another gorgeous morning. Temperatures right now in the upper 60s, almost 70 degrees right now. It's going to get pretty warm today. Highs are going to be in the upper 80s. Tomorrow we're supposed to maybe hit 90. Unbelievable. It's low tide right now, as you can see. You can see the sandbars exposed out here. We'll take a walk out there, see what we can find on the sandbar this morning. Already some people showing up for their morning walk. Good morning. They've been opening the front gates up at 7.30. Normally the park opens at 8 a.m. But because it's been so busy, they're opening the gates a little earlier now. Yesterday, the parking lot was full by 9.45. They actually stopped letting cars in at 9.45. And it's probably gonna repeat that again today. So get here early if you wanna come to the beach. And that probably goes for all of our beaches in Southwest Florida on this holiday weekend. That water temperature's around 74 degrees this morning. A lot of times we find some pretty interesting little things in these little areas here. This water that gets trapped between the beach and the sandbar at low tide. I'm going to wade across. See if there's anything interesting out on the sandbar. Well, here Roy up the beach getting his getting a hug already. He's up there with some of our friends right up there. Getting his first hug of the morning. Boy, the dolphins were out here yesterday all morning. They put on a great show for everybody at the beach. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording, but one came right up to the shore and leaped, completely leaped out of the water. Oh, probably four or five feet out of the water, and rolled over on his back and splashed into the water. It was an incredible sight. And I mean, he was just offshore. Ch he was chasing a fish and then showing off, I think, to everybody on the beach. Yesterday, we saw quite a few sea stars out here on the sandbar. I don't see any right now. Yesterday, we started all the way down at the south end in area one. This is area four. Found two really nice sand dollars yesterday. And they weren't alive, so I took them home. Dried them out, and they turn a nice bright white when you dry them out. Put them out in the sun for a couple days. Oh, is that one of our little fighting conks down here? No, just a broken, what is that? Oh yeah, it is a fighting conk. See if anybody, yep, there's a fighting conch in there. You find a lot of these. Usually when you find them out on the sandbar, they're alive. And this one does have a fighting conch inside. You can see his little foot there. The Florida fighting conch. We'll just leave him out here on the sandbar. He comes out and crawls around. Well, he's gonna stay in his shell. I 
Oh, the water feels really nice. 74. What do we got over here? Wow. A nice big shark eye with a little crab inside it. A nice big moon shell. A really big moon shell. Look at that. That's a big shark eye. Kind of dirty. It's got a little crab in there. Um, don't know if, what kind of crab it is. If it's a hermit crab. That's a big moon shell. Too bad that little crab's in there. We could take that shell home if it was empty and clean it up. Looks like a nice one. You can see his, his little claws there. Got one big claw and one little claw. Put him back in the water. We don't take anything home that's got a living animal inside of it. What else? What else might we discover out here? Yesterday we found a beautiful olive shell with a snail inside of it. Hey, be sure to hit that share button and let everybody know what you're watching. Well, yesterday we had a great beach walk. And the day before we had a great beach walk, both Saturday and Sunday. Two fantastic beach walks. Today is kind of a bonus day, being a holiday. Normally it's pretty hard for me to get out here on weekdays. But being a holiday, I figured, what the heck? Get out here early before the crowd gets here. Beautiful, look how clear that water is. There's a sea star down here buried in the sand. See it right down there? Somebody, you probably, somebody missed that and step on the poor thing, but see him buried there? Nine-armed sea star. That's a nice size one there, wow. That's a good size sea star there. Turn him over, you can see his legs moving around there. That's a beauty right there. That is a very nice specimen. Of course, we don't take this home. You can look and take pictures and be gentle with them. Their arms are fragile. Don't break their little arms off. That's a great specimen of the nine arm. That's a big one. Look how big that is. That is a big sea star. Look right down there at his mouth. See his little legs going to town there. The nine arm sea star. We have five arm sea stars here as well. This is a really good size one. I'm just gonna put him back in the water. He'll bury himself back in the sand, or it will bury itself back in the sand. Old Roy is over here hey, sneaking well, up behind me. What you doing out here on the sandbar? Well, I'm coming out to see you. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Hey, what a morning, huh? Gorgeous. Did you see all that dolphin action? You saw some dolphins this oh, morning already? Oh, man. Two of them roared right up to the beach. And really? Finally, already this morning? And then there was a mother and a baby. Did you see them go by? I just got here, so, oh. yeah. Oh, no. the little one right right oh. next to the mother, and they'd come out of the water, and the big old dad, he was out a little farther. Oh, boy. So they're out already this oh, morning? Oh, it was a big scene. Must have seen the 
Half a dozen already. This really? Morning. Yeah. Well, they'll be back then, that's for sure. Yeah. Where did you see them at? Just down the beach, this little bit, just, just a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Which... they went on by, then they were out farther when you were here. Okay. Huh. I'm surprised they didn't stick stick in, along the sandbar here. Yeah, well, there was a couple of them roared right up. I can oh. see, I can see some fish starting to jump yeah, around out here. Swirl! Wow, they just. Oh wow. Yeah, we're, we're well, hopefully they'll be back and we can get a nice close look at them. Yeah. Yeah. What a day, huh? <laughs> it is beautiful. Somebody it... said that that they redid that beautiful uh, shell star that was down here. You know, quite oh, that somebody it redid it. Yeah. I... Yeah, remember how beautiful that was? And got... Yeah, it was like a flower or whatever. Yeah. I thought it was right up there. Where is it? I thought it was over there. Yeah, I got it wasn't as, this far. See, right up there where that, right up there. Oh yeah, I have to check that. Yep, it's right up there yeah, on the good. beach up there. Yeah, that's that... real pretty. Yep. Oh, that what was a day, definitely huh? neat. It is beautiful. You know, it's going to just be getting hotter and hotter and hotter out here. Yeah, I'll have to take more and more swims. It's going to hit 90-something tomorrow. Can you oh, believe really? that? Yeah. Oh, boy. Ha, ha. Yeah, the... Oh, it's always great in the morning the downside, the, the, down, the downside to this warm weather is that they're predicting a pretty active hurricane season. Oh, golly me. Oh, yeah, because the water's getting really warm early this year. So. Oh, well, I hope we don't have another one of those. Hope not. Keeping our fingers crossed, it oh, doesn't boy. get bad. Yeah, that was bad news. Man. Oh, what a day. Well, that was nice seeing Lori the other day, yeah, huh? She, she, she said some... she'd be down today Oh, again. is she going to come back? We'll be able to take some swims uh -oh. together. I hope her husband isn't getting jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him on the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did I, to he... I told him I was sneaking hugs from his wife. <laughs> he says, go ahead. He says, Get, take all you want. Oh, gosh. <laughs> He's very generous about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it was good. Wow. <laughs> he seemed like a real good guy. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to walk along the beach for a little ways. I'll catch up with you. Oh, yeah. Think about, think, about, uh, think about a nice topic of conversation for this morning while you're walking around. Okay. Come up with surprise me. <laughs> you always do surprise me. <laughs> well, it's hard to think of something new. Everything is so glorious, and we've, we've, uh, we've expounded on the glory of it already. <laughs> yeah. But there's always something to talk about. Maybe the dolphins will come up and give us something to talk about. Yeah. That's just so Conversation gorgeous out here. Conversation with the dolphins. Wouldn't that be fun? I guess they do squeak or something. Oh, yeah. They? They, they, they talk to each other. Yep. They communicate. Yeah, yeah. They're really smart, those dolphins. Smarter than us, probably. Well, they invented radar before we did. There you go. Sonar, <laughs> radar, sonar. They so, use sonar. Yeah, sonar. Maybe Ping, that's yep, it. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty sonar. neat. <laughs> Where are you going to cross at? It gets a little deep right here. Yeah, I think I'll go back. Yeah, I think you should kind of make your way up that away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's right where that lady is with the dog. Yeah, good show. All right. Okay. All right, Roy. Bed, I'll see you in a little while. Yep. Yeah, nice Absolutely. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Beautiful out here. That water is pretty nice, huh? Can you believe it? 70. 74 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Already up we in the 70s. We were going to go in again. He said he'd be back in an hour. He never came. Never Bill never came. came back. And then Stella came up. She said Bill had such a red nose. He, uh, didn't, he was in the shade. He didn't want to yeah, get in the Yeah, these sun. clear skies. That red sun nose. Is, that I'll sun have to accuse him of maybe it's, it's from a little bit of schnapps. Ah, uh, there the you sun. go. There you go. <laughs> a W.C. Fields nose. I think that gives you a red nose, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I'll catch up with you. Be careful okay. walking out here on the sandbar. Right on. Oh, you don't want to step, in, step on any, any stingrays. No sting. Ah, the stingrays are gone. They won't be back till the, the summer when it warms up a little bit more. But there's plenty of other things to step on. There's lots of starfish out here and sand dollars and oh, conch shells. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time, isn't it? It is beautiful. And it is the, gorgeous. All the fish in the sea, I love seeing them with dolphins. Kind of I want to see the dolphins. Now I'm excited. It's not, I'm happy to hear the dolphins are out already this morning.
Let's see what we can find out here in the water. Usually just on the gulf side of the sandbar is where you'll find sand dollars, sea stars. Oh, look at this. Sea stars all over the place here. See, there's one down here. See, they just, whoa, I don't wanna get my phone wet. They just bury themselves in the sand. One there, one over here. So nice to see all this marine life out here. So cool. Oh, there's a big one right behind me. Huh. Isn't that neat? You gotta be careful when you're walking out here because you can barely see them. Ah, I'm, there's another one. Look at this, they're everywhere out here. Everywhere. Holy moly. I wanna be careful where I'm walking. I don't wanna step on any of these guys. I'd like to find a five-arm sea star. These are all nine-arm sea stars that we're finding. These, those are the most common. These are huge. Look at the size of these things. Look how big these guys are. Look at them curl right up into my hand. This guy is really active here. Very, very active. It's amazing how fast they, they move along the bottom. Here's one really, he's crawling really fast along the bottom. Look at that guy. So cool. I'm gonna go up on the beach and check out that flower up there that somebody made with the seashells. There's a nice little cockle shell down here. It's got a little barnacle growing on it. That's a cockle shell. You find lots of cockle shells along the beach here. A lot of times we'll find live cockles. Very nice colors. A feeling our dolphins are going to be back here. Roy said he saw them just a little while ago, just up the beach. The mom and the dad and the babies. One baby with them. He said he actually saw two groups of them. Let's cut across here. We'll come back out. I just want to see this sand art up here. There were two big flowers that somebody made up here on the beach. So now there's only the bigger one left here. I think they kind of re restored it a little bit. It's right up here where Roy is looking. Wow. There was a set. Oh, they added to it. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. Boy, they added to this. That is incredible, isn't that? Look at that. That is beautiful. Then they got little shells on little sticks sticking up at the end of the. <laughs> that is amazing. That's all. Look at that. That took some time to make that, huh? Yeah. Different wow. Shell, different sizes. Different size shells. Look at the center. Perfect sizes there. That is incredible. Some bigger ones around here, and oh boy. That is one. Magnificent piece of art right there on the beach. Look at that. You can get an idea how big it is. Look at Roy back there. That thing is huge. 
Isn't that amazing? Whoever did that, great job. Thank you for sharing your talents with us. Isn't that something? That is amazing. That thing is huge. Those people definitely should get a prize for that one. Yeah. I mean, there's so many shells. Well, look I how mean, they alternated here. Yeah. Stones, shells, stones, stones, stones and stones. shells. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Look at it all. That is just incredible. Wow. That is something else. You don't see that every day. Oh, beautiful. Wow. That is amazing. Remember that morning when there was a mermaid? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Wow. Well, there's always something different on the beach. You never know what you're going to find here, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> Every morning you come out, something different. It's glorious. We still haven't found the real mermaid, mermaid, but we're looking. Oh, one of these days she'll she'll, she'll, she'll swim, swim up there. One of these times. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go back to my my uh, beach combing. And I'll catch up with you in a little while. Okay. All right, Roy. I'll be there. All right. Let's go see what we can find out here. Oh, well, good for Roy getting a hug back behind me. Oh, there's a big fighting conch crawling around on the shore. Look at that guy there. Wow. See him sticking out of his shell? He's all covered with sand. Little fish swimming around here. There you can see him there. See his foot sticking out and his little eye. If you look close, you can see his eye there on that tube on the right. See his little eye sticking up? That's probably about as close as I can get to him. See his eye there looking around and his foot on the left. Thought maybe, thought maybe he'd come out and say good morning to us. But no, the Florida fighting conch. Look at all these little fish. See all these little fish swimming around here? Hundreds of them, thousands of them. I mean, they're just everywhere. Little minnows swimming around down here. I don't know if you can see them all. They do a good job of avoiding me when I'm walking along here. Can you see them swimming by up there? The birds are checking them out. Got some seagulls looking for a meal. There's some swimming in a little circle over there. See them right over there? That is kind of cool. Can you see that? It's just like, a, it looks like a little hurricane swim. <laughs> Isn't that neat? See them all? Just swimming around in a circle. That is cool. That is really neat. I'm assuming you can see him here. You see their shadow on the bottom? So it looks like there's twice as many. That is so cool. See them over here? There's a good look at them. Oh, they're swimming right by me. Wow, that was cool. Let's see what else we can find out here. Let's go back out on the gulf side of the sandbar. 
where we were seeing all those sea stars. Lots of interesting rocks here. You can find some fossils along the beach. Look at this stone here. Look at all the things in there. There's some great fossil hunting here. It can be done at the beach at Del Norwegans. Not just seashells. There's a bunch of little sandpipers out here in front of me. See them here? They're usually running in and out of the waves. They're pretty fast. Yep. Off they go. What are we going to find out here this morning? There's a, looks like a piece of coral over here. Yeah, there's a neat looking piece of coral down here. Get it in the sunlight. That's a nice chunk of coral. Pretty neat. Absolutely picture perfect morning out here. Look at that blue sky. Look at that beautiful blue sky out here. It's supposed to be like this for another oh eight days. It's gonna get a little cloudy, I think, this afternoon. But the mornings are just incredible. Look how clear this water is out here. It's beautiful. 74 degrees. Man, it's hard to believe it's February. It's amazing. More sea stars down here. Got to be really careful when you're walking out here. You just, they're just buried beneath the sand. But they are everywhere out here. It's so neat to see all this marine life. We are so blessed here in Naples, in Southwest Florida. Let's see what, hoping to find maybe a really nice shell. Maybe a nice big live lightning rock. Wouldn't that be exciting? Definitely seen more than our share of sea stars out here this morning. Everywhere I walk. Just beautiful, beautiful creatures. Another interesting rock. It looks like a piece of worm rock. Usually it's more of a brown color, a reddish brown. Got some neat things going on. See all the little worm tubes in there?
Well, let's get up on the sandbar here, see if there's anything actually crawling around here. No, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> I don't see anything moving around up here. Low tide is just fantastic for coming out here and shell, doing some shelling and exploring. What a beautiful President's Day morning, huh? have down here what kind of seashell oh wow that's a neat looking scallop shell right there look at that that's pretty cool that's a good that's look at that that is really neat it's got a little worm tube in there that's a neat looking scallop right there hard to see the bottom now when you get into the shade sun hasn't come up over the trees yet but here's some of our real more common shells these mossy arc shells find them all over the beach here the mossy arcs find them out in the water along the shore Slowly making my way north up the beach in Area 4 at Del Norwigans Pass State Park in North Naples. Boy, you never know what we're going to come across out here. Just got to keep your eyes open when you're walking out here along the shore. It's low tide, which is nice. We get to go a little further out into the water. Hoping to see some dolphins. They've already been by this morning. Roy saw them out here earlier this morning. Saw them a couple times. Saw the baby and the mama and the dad. He said they came right up to shore earlier this morning. Hopefully we'll get lucky and see them before I leave. That's always a treat, seeing the dolphins. If you come out here and spend the day, you're pretty much guaranteed to see some dolphins. Here's an old cone shell down here. Looks like an old cone. Yep, that's a real old cone shell. Look at that. Wow. Looks like an old worn out alphabet cone. Wow. That is an old one. These are beautiful. I mean, they're all the shells are beautiful, even the old worn out ones.
Lots of people out here shelling this morning. Lots of people out here enjoying the beautiful weather, walking the beach. Yeah, that sky, just incredible. No clouds in sight. We're supposed to get some clouds later today, but not right now. See, I'm not the only one out here walking along. our eyes open, maybe we'll find a shark's tooth. You never know. You just never know what you're gonna find out here. Just waiting for those dolphin to come by. Tons of little little bait fish out here, little minnows. Tons of them swimming around. Hopefully they'll attract the dolphins. See, see these little black specks in the water? That is a wild looking shell right there. Look at that. It's like iridescent. Look at that. I don't know what that is. No idea what kind of shell that is. It's so cool looking. But I was just gonna say, there's so many little black rocks and black shells. When you're looking for shark's teeth, you really gotta keep your eye open. Keep a sharp eye. Now we're getting into the part of the beach where yesterday, the past couple days, we just found some really, really nice little shells all along the shoreline. And you got so much area to cover when you're out here shelling. It's like, where do you walk? Do you walk along the beach? Do you walk in the water? Look at all these little shells. There they are. Look at them all. Just got to get down here and start looking. You're going to find all kinds of neat stuff. Lots of little worm tips out here. Look, here's a little tiny jewel box shell. Or, is that a jewel box? Or a, that's a slipper shell with a, like a rough edge on it. That's kind of cool. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, focus, come on. Isn't that cool? A little slipper shell but it's got a texture like a jewel box that is pretty neat all kinds of little gems down here little treasures saw this nice smooth stone. I thought maybe it was a shark eye from a distance. It's just amazing though when you stop and look what you can find. Here's a piece of worm rock.
Beautiful scallop shells out here. Lots of nice scallops. There's Roy up there on the beach. He's got some visitors. And there's Barbara. We'll stop and say hi to Barb on our way back. But she's up there with her shell collection on Monday mornings. Talking about her shells. We'll check back with her in a little bit. We just want to walk up. I want to walk up the beach a little further. See what all we come across. Hoping again, hoping to see some dolphins. We saw dolphins Saturday. We saw them yesterday, Saturday and Sunday. Let's make it three in a row. I know they're out here. Roy said he spotted them earlier this morning. These scallops are all over. Wow, there's the top of a whelk shell right there. The top of a lightning whelk. There's a piece of a worm shell over here. Piece of a worm shell. Scallop down there. How'd you like to be walking along the beach here with us this morning? This is definitely paradise. Look at that sky, beautiful clear blue. Lots of fish jumping offshore. That's usually what attracts the dolphins. guys went. Look at that water though, is that not beautiful this morning? morning. It's so peaceful just walking along here listening to the waves lapping on the shore. Even if we're not finding shells, just being out here is a blessing. There's a little jewel box down there. An old jewel box shell. See if we can find some little kittens paws along here. They're usually all over the place. Of course, when I want to find one, they're not here. Well, 
Where's a kitten's paw? Lots of jewel boxes. Another jewel box here. Another jewel box here. Two jewel box shells. Where's a little kitten's paw? That's yeah, crazy. They're usually all over the place. A lot of people do collect the kitten's paws. As soon as I find one, you'll know why it's called a kitten's paw. Huh. Just for some reason, I don't see any down here. They're usually all over. Well, I'll find one here in a few minutes, I'm sure. There's a couple little sandpipers ahead of me there. If you're just tuning in, we're at Del Norwegans Pass State Park, which is in North Naples, Florida. Just walking north along the beach, we're up in area five. There's five areas, five parking lots, five beaches. One is the closest to the main entrance. Five is the furthest from the entrance. Five is where you wanna go if you wanna do some fishing. The north end of Area 5, fishing only up there, no swimming. That's the only place you can fish. Unseasonably warm for this time of year. Tomorrow, they're predicting we hit 90, 90 degrees in February. Wow. It's going to be in the upper 80s today. The water temperature is 74 degrees. Water is just gorgeous, nice and clean, clear. Hey, everybody. <laughs> slowly walking the beach, seeing what catches my eye. There's a little olive shell down here. Oh no, it's not an olive. It's a little mussel, little clam shell. Almost looks like a little angel wing. Hmm, interesting. Another one of our beautiful little scallops. Nice little cockle shell over here. There's another scallop right there. You find these scallops in all different colors along the beach here. All different sizes and colors. Find some interesting rocks and corals. You do find some nice big shells here. 
at Wiggins, but you find a lot more smaller shells. But you really have to take your time and walk slow. One of our common shells is the slipper shell. You'll find these all up and down the beach. Yeah, get the sand off this one, hang on a second. This one has a little hole in the top, but the slipper shells are smooth, real smooth. You flip it over, see why they call it a slipper shell? Looks like a little slipper, like a little bedroom slipper. A slipper shell. Like I said, you can find them all over the beach. Here's another, here's a bigger one. That one doesn't have a hole in the top. Slipper shell. around here. It's this beautiful weather we're having. Ooh, there's a big slipper shell. They just get bigger and bigger. Look at this one. There's a bigger one. That's a nice size slipper shell there. Boy, they're just all along the beach here. One after the other. Wow. It's not uncommon to see dolphins, dolphins swimming along the shore here. We've got several families of dolphins. There's quite a, quite a few dolphins actually all throughout Southwest Florida. There's lots of uh, tour boats, you know, excursions that you can go out on and see dolphins. They'll come right up to the boats and follow along in the wake. They love playing in the wake of the boats here. So if you've never seen dolphins, you've got to take one of those boat rides. And now, most of the pods of dolphins have little babies with them. So that's a real treat, seeing the little babies. Get over how beautiful it is here. People freezing their buns off up north. We're down here sweating, <laughs> complaining about the heat. Well, there's a fighting conch rolling in and out of the surf. Nice one. It's a nice fighting conch shell right there. It's empty, so you can take that home. You don't take anything home that's got a living creature in it living animal. That's a nice Florida fighting conch right there. Very common along the beaches here in southwest Florida. See lots of live ones crawling around out in the water. That's a beautiful specimen right there. Surprised nobody's picked it up. Here's an interesting shell. Another common shell. The turkey wing. Pretty obvious why that's called a turkey wing. The turkey wing shell. See a lot of these along the beach. Another beautiful scallop down there. Look at that one, wow. Look at the color on that, huh? Beautiful. Just next to it, nice little piece of worm rock. So neat looking at, up close at this worm rock. Seeing all the little tubes there, the worm tubes. I get so enthralled here walking along, checking out all these shells, that I keep forgetting to look back behind me, look for dolphins. 
little worm tube. Oh, there's an interesting color little jewel box over here. Look at that, kind of a pinkish part of the jewel box, kind of a pinkish color. There's, the slower you walk here, the more you're going to find in these little piles of shells along the beach. Let's check and see if any dolphins are out swimming by yet. I don't see any yet. You can usually tell when the dolphins are out here. You see a big group of people standing on the beach. Some, find anything interesting there? Down. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little collection. Nice conch and a cockle. And... Um, yeah. I, I pick up these pieces. Oh, the twisties. We call yeah. those twisties, the when, twisties when, they, when they're the inside of the shell like that. Yeah, uh, we call that a twisty. Yeah, <laughs> it's got, neat, though. They're neat. I got a collection of those. Oh, the conchs, the fighting conchs. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what these are uh, called. These are called slipper shells. Slipper. See, when you because when you look at it, can you see how it kind of looks like a little slipper right, when you, you turn put it your over? Foot in it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and these little scallops are beautiful. There's so many beautiful little shells here. Yeah, yeah. You got to take the time. To That's find it. Those People look ones. for the big ones. They bypass all the little the ones. Little ones. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. That's a that's that's an oyster shell, yeah. I like those. They're yeah. sort of flat and interesting. And I was wondering, does this that's color um, fade? Or well, no. Is is this unusual for it to be that dark? No, you, you find a lot of scallops this color. That's a common one there. I don't know what okay. kind, what you call it, but you find a lot of that okay. color. And these are beautiful. Those big cockle shells. Yeah. You can find those the size of your hand. And this was floating. Oh, this was floating? Yeah. That's a worm rock. Yeah, so I thought, well, something that floats, it must be. Yeah, I, I've never <laughs> seen them floating. That's neat. Well, you got some neat stuff in your basket there. Right, Keep up the good work. <laughs> There's a black scallop. It was black, now it's fading. You can find some nice big black scallops here on the beach. This one's almost bleached out to white. <laughs> Let's go up a little further, then we'll turn around and we'll give you a look around the corner here at Wiggins Pass, the north end of our park. Again, those just tuning in, we're at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Beautiful President's Day weekend in paradise. Our friend Roy and Barbara Grove are both here today. Barbara Grove comes out on Mondays during season. She brings her shell collection. She sets up down in Area 4 by Roy. If you got any questions about shells, she'll be more than happy to answer them for you. She also brings shells from her own personal collection to talk about. So stop by. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. There's part of a crown conch. Gosh darn it. The crown conchs are beautiful shells. This is just the tip of one. I have not found a perfect specimen of a crown conch yet. I'm hoping to get one of those one of these days. That's just the top of it, the very tip of a crown conch. Oh, here's part of a tulip shell. Look at the colors on that. Wow. That is a beautiful piece of a banded tulip shell. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. You can see another, we call that a twisty. And the shell's broken and you can see the inside like that.
So here's the inside of a little conch shell. We're slowly making our way north. We start down area four. We're heading up to area five towards Wiggins Pass. People out here looking for sand dollars. This is a good place out here to find sand dollars. Where's another cone shell, an old cone shell. What's left of a cone. Beautiful, the cones. See, it's got a little color left. They call these alphabet cones. They're all speckled. They're like yellow dots all over them. This one's faded and old. That's what's left of a cone shell. I mean, there are all kinds of little gems along the shore here. You can see all these little shells. You just need to take the time, bend over, you know, do the stoop, little piece of finger coral there. There's another turkey wing down here. There's a cool. I used to think those were so neat when I first came out to the beach. They are neat, no matter what. The turkey wing shell. Hey, thanks for joining in here. Be sure to let everybody know in the comments where you're from, where you're watching from. Introduce yourself. That's what this is all about. It's our little beach community here. It's so cool. We got people watching from all around the world. We've got some good friends here on the beach. Got our good friend Roy, who I'll be chatting with in a little while. 93 years old, a World War II and Korean War veteran, Roy. We'll go have a chat with him. But we're up on nearing Wiggins Pass up here. Walking out onto the sandbar. We're at low tide still. You can see it's a popular place up here. Lots of people come out here shelling. Great place to look for sand dollars up here. Usually you find the sand dollars just on the gulf side of the sandbars. Ninety percent of the time the ones you find out in the water are alive. So please don't take them home. Don't take them out of the water. Leave them be. Be very careful when picking them up. They're very fragile. There's a little cockle shell down there. Half a cockle buried in the sand. Beautiful shells, the cockles. I don't see any sand dollars offhand here. It's a little, been a little too much wave action here. It's a little rough on the bottom to spot them. They're easier to see when the bottom's nice and flat. Ugh. dolphin or two to come by here. Beautiful. Look at the reflections on the bottom there. This is an 
North Naples here. This is Wiggins Pass up ahead of me where you see that inlet there. That's Barefoot Beach Preserve on the other side of the pass there. That's Bonita Beach up there, Estero. Boy, it's so clear today. You can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. Just beautiful. Just beautiful out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to take a quick photograph. Oh, up here is an osprey. I don't know if you can see it flying around up here. Circling around looking for a fish. Right where our friend Roy sits, just above his head, is an osprey nest. I don't know if you can see the osprey flying around there or not. But we have an active osprey nest with a pair of mating osprey in it. At the north end of Area 4. As I was saying, bear with me here. I'm going to snap off a quick photograph. And I'll share that later. I just have to get out of the video mode to do that. Again, don't go anywhere. Just bear with me. It's just too beautiful not to take a picture of and share. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about the interruption there. It's beautiful out here though this morning. I'm gonna turn around here. I'm gonna go up just a little bit further to the end. Give you a look at Wiggins Pass, and then we'll head back down and talk to Roy. Say hi to Barbara, see what shells she might have, might happen to have with her this morning. I can hear my feet splashing in the water here. Incredibly gorgeous out here today. There's a father and son way out there on the sandbar. You can actually wade out there. You can see there's a fisherman way up there. You can wade across. There's a sandbar. You can go out by the markers there. You can see another couple people way off in the distance walking out there. The sandbar goes all the way around out here. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And the water is just pristine. This is Area 5, the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. This is where you want to come if you want to do some fishing. You're not allowed to swim up here. They do catch a lot of sharks up here. That's one of the reasons they don't want you swimming up here. Right now the tide's out, so you don't have anything to worry about. So everybody's taking advantage of the low tide to do some shelling. beach there at Barefoot Beach. I don't know if you can see all the pelicans over here on the right across the pass. See them all over there at Barefoot Beach on sitting along the shore there.
How you doing? You can see the sandbar out there. Very, very shallow out there right now. You definitely don't want to cut across there in a boat. Give you one more look at the pass. So your tide is still going out. Beautiful Monday. Let's turn around, head back down the beach, catch up to Roy. Say hi to, say hi to Barbara Grove. Picture right there. I got. I got to take that picture. Bear with me. I'm gonna jump out of the video mode here. Bear with me for a minute. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Thanks for hanging in there. Walk out here into the water. Only a couple inches of water here. Boy, it's amazing how many sea stars we saw earlier this morning. Earlier in the beach walk. At the conclusion of the live feed, the video gets reposted on Facebook, the replay. And then I also upload a little higher version of it onto YouTube. Oh, here's a little crab. Poor thing. Little crab. Didn't make it. Didn't survive. Just bobbing up and down. Poor thing. Oh well, the birds will make a meal out of him. Nothing goes to waste here. The circle of life. And I better get scurrying down the beach here. I don't want to lose my battery here. I don't want to wind up with a dead battery before I see Roy. Here's some of our trees that got knocked over by Hurricane Irma. Shame on her. These are beautiful sea grapes we had all along the shore. And Irma took her toll on them. What's neat though is people are hanging shells on these dead trees. It's kind of neat. You can see the seashells on them here, on the branches. These are all up and down the north end of the beach. They'll hang a shell. A lot of people hang a shell just as a decoration, but others hang them and say a prayer. A lot of people hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. It's great to see the tradition continuing after the hurricane. We had some trees that were just loaded with these seashells before the hurricane. So add a shell when you're here for whatever reason you want. 
there's one tree down here it's just covered with them this is area five up at the north end of the park I haven't seen Bill walking by yet on hunting for his shark's teeth look at all the shells here Wow So definitely add a shell, whatever reason. As a decoration, hang a shell, say a prayer, make a wish. A lot of people hang a shell and make a wish. But the most common reason is people hang shells in memory of a loved one that's passed away. Very cool. Let's get back to the shoreline. Beautiful day in paradise. Beautiful Monday morning in paradise. I think now just some swells. I thought I spotted a dolphin, but it's just some swells in the water. Something really funny happened here the other day. I forgot to share it on Facebook and tell everybody, but there's a big piece of steel submerged just offshore here. You can see that dark spot out there. And as the tide goes out, every once in a while, you'll see a little piece of it pop up. But the other day, there was a huge crowd gathered along the beach here, and they were looking out here, and they were, everybody, somebody said it was a manatee, so. Everybody thought it was a manatee out there. And this huge crowd gathered. People were taking photos of it and saying, look, there's its nose sticking up. But it's just a piece of steel, a big, huge chunk of steel that's submerged out there. It's actually buried in the sand. They can't get it out. But it was really funny. I didn't say anything. I didn't want to break their hearts. I let them take their pictures and tell everybody they saw a manatee. It was pretty funny. There's a look back north, up the beach. You know what's nice here at this park is there's picnic tables and barbecue grills. There's a trail back here, a, a you know, path, a nature trail. There's grills and picnic tables all up and down it, the whole length of the, you know, the entire beach. So it's a great place to come and spend an entire day with the family. It's the cheapest entertainment you're going to find in town, I guarantee you. To bring your whole family for the day, I think it's a car full of people. I think it's eight bucks to get in the park. So far, Roy was the lucky one this morning. He spotted some dolphins. He had two dolphin sightings this morning. I haven't seen them yet. So they're out here. You spend a day out here and you will see dolphins, and most likely more than once. That's for sure. The water is just absolutely gorgeous. Nice and clear. The Gulf of Mexico, its natural color here is more of an emerald green. Totally different colors than on the other side of the state in the Atlantic. And the bluer the sky, the lighter the green. And it kind of picks up the, the color of the sky.
you can see the greens and the blues from the sky. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's in the 70s already. Highs today are going to be in the upper 80s. That water is 74 degrees. People definitely taking advantage of this beautiful morning, holiday morning at that. I know a lot of folks have to work today. Normally, I come out here on the weekends to do these beach walks. It's hard to get out during this time of year. This is our season. I'm busy at work usually during the week. So I come out on weekends, but being a holiday, here I am. So this is like a little bonus beach walk this morning. Great way to start your day wherever you are. Walking along the beach with me. Coming up to our friend Roy and Barb. Barbara Grove is our shell lady. Very knowledgeable. She sets up on the beach with her shell collection. She also sits there to answer any questions you might have about any of the shells you find along the shore. Is where the osprey's nest is, right up here. This pine tree right up here. I don't know if they're up there. There's usually one sitting up there. Right up top there. Hard to see with the sun blasting in my eyes. This is the north end of Area 4. That nest it's right above where the sun is there. You'll see it in a minute here. See just above the sun, you see that dark spot? That's the osprey nest up there. I don't see anybody in there right now, but right up in there, that's the nest. Hey, here's our friends Roy and Barbara. Let's go say hi to Roy and Barbara. See if Barbara's got any neat shells there for us. Well, looky who I found. <laughs> Imagine well, finding you some, two here. She's got some really interesting You got some beauties out here today? Well, I've... The, Barbara yes. Grove. Everybody say hi to Barbara. It's everybody been a long say hi, time, Barbara. everybody. I know, good I haven't to, seen you for a while. Good to see you again or be it's seen been, by it's, you again. It's just or... been busy. You know, it's, it's season. It's season. You got some neat shells today? What oh, you got? these are, they're just some magical ones. These are all from, these, from Wiggins. These are our local shells these right here. These are from this beach. No way. Right this here. This is from Wiggins. Well, and this is unusual and it's a, it's a good story because it's a pink murex and doesn't belong here. No. And it belongs more like Key West and down in that area. But the Gulf Stream brought it up and it really the message is we could have shells from any place in the world you're right about that because it could come in on on the um gulf stream look at the size of this thing who found this i did you found this. oh yeah all i'm of, jealous all of these i've found this shell was for me to find and you found it this to had my name away. on it was, it, it was for me to give away huh? <laughs> <laughs> that no. is a beautiful here's, an here's another look at one this. she found this on the beach here yep is that uh -huh. not? Yeah. That is a beautiful And here's shirt. one that shouldn't be here. This is another oh absolutely my. gorgeous. Well, isn't that a, a big olive? Big olive. What? Only that one is from the Carolinas. Ah. So it has come through the There's Gulf Stream. There's somebody there. That, that's an operculum or trap door. Well, he's still, is, is he alive? No. That he's, is he's, but he's in there. And the trap door is so tight that. That is a. Barbara, that is a gorgeous olive shell. Isn't that the most beautiful olive? And it does, it can't.
came here on this beach. Now, I've seen some nice ones out here. I, the other day I found a really nice live one. Well, and here's a nice little one from this yep, beach. That's more, yep, yeah, this difference. is more the size of the olive yes. shells we have here. Yes. Yep. So wow. you never know. You, you wow. don't know where some nope. of them come from. And some of them belong here, as yep. you can and see there's from one of our cockles. Yeah. And let's see, Valentine's Day. Oh, maybe the heart. Yeah. The heart. A heart for Valentine's. For Valentine's, we kind of missed that one a little bit, but not by much. What is that right there? This this is a um, snail. Ah. And it's a tree tree where snail. Where'd it go? There it is. A tree snail. And you it comes in every color you can imagine. So you don't find that on the beach, you find it in the trees. Well, actually I found this one on the beach. And really? I don't, I maybe don't. a bird dropped it there or something. Could be. That's Could be, or maybe maybe it fell out of the tree onto yeah. the beach and the tide came up. You know there's so many mysteries. Oh, there so are mysteries. Many so mysteries. many mysteries. And you just have to sit back and say, I love it here and it's paradise. And, I, and I want the mysteries. The let, them, let them come on in. Now we've been finding a lot of sand dollars lately. Have you found both kinds? Now we haven't, we've only been finding this kind. Here's the pancake one we have too. Not, I have not found a pancake sand dollar yet. What, so what do you call that? Just a regular sand dollar? That's all I've called it, I'm sure. <laughs> See I'm the sure. difference? The pancake doesn't have the holes. And it doesn't have what's called the little doves. The if doves. If you broke it open, yep. there'd be five, I've, always five I've, little doves. Whenever I find some pieces of sand dollars, I'll break it open and show the people the doves. And you can see the little difference on yep. that, but you know it's a sand dollar. Oh, absolutely. And of course, we don't take live ones home. You know what I have found out even today? That young people really understand that we don't keep live animals, shells, whatever, whatever we find, right. we the put sea back. stars, put it back in the water. But yep. it's so nice that young people are get starting it. to respect that they respect get it. nature yep it is and i think you the more you do the more you appreciate what you find here on the beach yeah you also find wonderful people walking the beach Isn't that you know, the, the, truth? the best people in the world there's great people out here yes we've, we've made so many friends out here including this guy sitting over here next Who's to he? you Who's oh, he? that's the mayor of wiggins over there <laughs> roy <laughs> Well, I mean, we're going to chat with him in a minute. I want to look. I want to see some more of these local shells. Well, let's just. Let me... Let, this is something I want people to see because okay. I always find we always find the little we find the shark eyes more like this. That's right. That size. That's that's right. a shark eye and there. That's nice. And those are great little specimens. But look at the size of this one that Barb found. And that one, and some people call it um, a moon shell. A moon shell. Yeah. Or some people call it if it has a blue. I, they call it Paul Newman's eyes. Hmm. <laughs> you think anybody, oh, eyes. anybody under twenty would even know what I'm talking about? Probably not. <laughs> but look at that. That is a beautiful specimen. That of a is. Shark eye or that moon is. Shell. And the underside is beautiful too. And I know it took you a long time to find. And I have not found one in this condition yet. But that, beautiful, isn't that it? That is a beautiful crown conch. And here's here's Beautiful. here's a fossil I found on this beach. Beautiful crown. And I think it probably is some re relative. Is, is of a that. relative. Yep. Because the tops are exactly Who the knows same. How old that fossil there is? That could be pfft, old. Hundreds of thousands <laughs> of years old. Well, probably thousands of years old. Look at old. that. I wonder what that was or is. Here's another one exists. I found on this beach. Oh wow. And this is extinct. This really? This no longer exists. Now is that a, a murex or a... It, I don't know. Huh. I don't know. And, it, and it kinda, if you, if you it notice... It kind of looks like a spiny murex shell. Well, that's what I was going to share. Is if you look at these, these are all broken off. Uh -huh. All along here. And it might have looked something like wow. that at look some at that. point. Only it would have been all over. Now, that's a spiny murex? This is a, a murex, yes. This is from Zanzibar. Ah, okay. It this looks is, like a fish skeleton. <laughs> it does. But look at the nice defense. Oh, wow. I mean, who wants to bite into who something like that? Who wants to step like on that? that? That's right. <laughs> Not me. But I have a feeling it, that this had the same type of spines yeah. on it at one point, and how beautiful wow. that must These have been. Are, you got some really neat stuff in this collection, Barbara. Oh, this is just a tiny bit a of tiny, my collection. Yeah. And here, 
here's the oldest oh, fossil yeah. I have, taken from a manganese mine in Minnesota, Look actually. At that. That is an old shell there. Well, it's an ocean shell. Yep. Yeah. And the last crazy. time there was an ocean over Minnesota was millions of years ago. That is neat. And even the backside. Oh, wow. You see the little ocean shells. Oh, wow. I mean, that's like prehistoric times there. Definitely. Wow. And pre speaking of prehistoric. Let's just set that down. Here's oh, something yeah. people know when you see this. One of our little horseshoe crabs. One of you little horseshoe crabs. And it's not dead. No. Nope. And it's not alive. <laughs> now, what's the mystery in all of that? I know, but you tell us. I'll tell you. It's a shed. It's a shed. And I think everybody knows how snakes shed their skin. Yep. Well, this, this crab, this horseshoe crab, sheds it, not only its skin, but Everything. even down to the feet. And it's just amazing. It, it How is they amazing. get out of that. I mean, it's just amazing. The animal is in here. Yep. You can tell it's a shed, too, because it's vacant inside. That is just amazing. How they shed their legs and their little feet. And, and that is actually, that's the exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. That's, they don't have bones. This is their skeleton. <laughs> and, and when the other, when it sheds it, I'm sure for a while, they're very vulnerable because their their yep. shell would be very soft. Somebody said there's some videos of them. You can see them actually shedding. On, I'm sure there online. are. Online, it's got to be interesting. Well, I keep I'd like forgetting. To take to, a look. Yeah, it's got to be amazing to see. And these are older than dinosaurs. They are. That's not, why not this one, but they've been around a long time. Are you older than a dinosaur? <laughs> I am, but not this guy. <laughs> How old are they, Barb? No comment. They're older than dinosaurs. Oh my God. The horseshoe crab. The horseshoe crab. Well, that is really neat. Well, I want to get over here and chat with Roy. Absolutely. Ain't got anything else? To, one more one more thing. Share one more something from the beach A here. big wow. A, A big, big the wow. The big sponge, yeah. This is a red-bearded sponge, and it's bright red when it's alive. And if you took a live one, and don't, take, don't do this yourself. Right. These are scientists that are doing the research. When they take a live one and put it in a blender and turn uh -huh. it on high for a couple minutes and then turn it off, this will restore its structure. Really? It'll After put being it, all ground up. It'll put itself back together again. That is amazing. So they are researching this to see if someday we will learn from nature. You know, we forget sure. sometimes we can learn from nature. Absolutely. That uh, perhaps we'll learn how to regenerate arms and legs. Wouldn't so, that be something? Isn't that? And that's a red, red, red bearded, bearded sponge. sponge, and that came from Wiggins Beach. In the summer, we find a lot of those on the beach yes. after the storms. Yes. We see a lot of them wash up and, on the and beach. And not, not only that this big. kind, but you see a lot of other sponges. A lot too. of sponges. And yep. remember that sponges are animals. Oh, and right. when you see this, you don't think of animal. No, you don't. And you just think of a sponge. <laughs> you think it's a sponge, and so what? Nothing, kind of. Nothing much to it, but that is right. an actual living organism. Living, living animal. Wow. Absolutely. Okay, go talk to Roy. All right, we're gonna go talk to the mayor. I hope he's got some wisdom for us here. He's been. He's had an hour and a half to think. Well, he's been telling me some pretty bad jokes, so I hope he... Oh, he's been on a roll with the bad jokes. <laughs> What's well, that she, about? She started the ball rolling. Oh, no. Well, you're telling jokes we can't share. Shame on you. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful day, isn't it? She's got some neat stuff over there, doesn't she? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And she's so uh, learned about the shells. Yep. I mean, there, there's so many interesting... Uh, developments with those shells, how they reproduce, and and the whole bit is really something. And then she grow. Look at the size of that big one oh, yeah. down there. Oh, that thing And she's was got huge, the yeah. teeny little babies are about this big, and they grow. I guess about 25 years yeah. takes them to grow. That's to that, that size. well. Well, now you said that. Now I have to show it to everybody. Where? It, oh, yeah. That's a big giant horse conch down there. Look at the size of that thing. And here's what Huge. came out of this one. And she's got the teeny babies in yep. there. They're, they're just kind of... Yeah, that is neat. About a sixteenth of a little horse conks, yeah. That's a huge one there. I found one that big out in the water one day. Oh, no A live one, yeah. Couldn't oh. take it because it was alive. But My yeah. gosh. It was giant. Right, right out here? Yeah. Uh, up there no, on the sandbar up in Area 5. Oh, be darn. Huh. 
Oh gosh. Where's your friend Lori? Where's our friend Lori? Yeah, she Toronto? said she'd be back today, but I'm kind of sad we didn't. I didn't see any dolphins. You got to see oh, the dolphins. Oh, did I see dolphins? Woo! And a mother and a baby. That was really That's the fun. treat. Yeah, yeah right get together, to... coming out. You know. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, and right close. It's fun seeing too. the baby jump out of the water. Yeah. yeah. Well, this wasn't leaping. He was right with his mom. Just they were right, right, right tucked together. So that was really beautiful. So you got any uh, thoughts for us here? Did you think of anything while well, I was... Well, you know, sitting here watching Barb telling everybody about the shells, my thought is appreciation for for teachers, for learned people that that uh, that are experts in certain fields, and they instruct us in those fields. That's how we learn. Yeah, is from these teachers, and bless them, because they they're they've spent their lives uh, studying this and and then they they transmit all of that knowledge to us i mean that's a real yeah. blessing that's a blessing for us yeah that's how we get our and, knowledge and of course in the schools where it's done you know professionally right. and and uh, you know when we're young we we got to go to school and we we Wish we didn't have to. Right. And then when we get older, we wish we paid more attention. Yeah. <laughs> later on, we realize what a blessing it is to have this schooling. So we yeah. learn not only read and write the fundamentals, but all of the fabulous things in life. They're all all come through instruction. And, yeah. and of course, we can do our own studying, but it's never quite as much fun as having an expert yeah. <laughs> first here on the whole thing. You know, in, in classroom teachers, especially, you know, in in the lower grades, you know, kindergarten through high school, these teachers nowadays, they, you know, the pay isn't that great. And they, I mean, they put up with a lot of, it's a, a lot of, a lot of crud now, yeah. Dedication. I mean, so people, they need to go out and thank a teacher. When they see a teacher, thank them. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's a thankless job that they're doing. Yeah, and the, and the, uni the professors at the university and all, boy, they're, they're learned people. And, yeah, and uh, they've dedicated their life to that learning and imparting the learning to us, and that's a tremendous blessing. It is. Tremendous. I mean, I've had, I had some great teachers back in back in high school. I mean, they were they were like one of the gang. A lot of them. Yeah. And those were the teachers that you paid attention to. You know, they used a lot of you know life stories to teach. You know, and when you can relate. That's right. You know, to to current times and things, you, it makes more sense to you. Well, you know, I went back, I was an electrical engineering at University of Michigan. I went back to a reunion, it must have been 20, 30, 40 years later or something. Uh -huh. Went back and, and uh, I went up in the old EE building to see if I could see any of the old profs were there. Of course, they were all kind of gone, but I looked in the various classrooms. By George, here's one of my old professors. Wow. He was real old. He was bent over his desk and yeah. fiddling with something. And, and I barged into the room. I says, hi, professor. Remember me? I'm Roy Hazy. I was your student back in 1942. And he looked up and he said, oh, yes, how are you? you know, <laughs> I don't know how old he was, but he was the only prophet. Something that he left. remembered you. Yeah, well, he. Or at least he <laughs> pretended he yeah, remembered Yeah, <laughs> he was nice about it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's really something. Uh, all of these people that dedicate their lives to it, to helping us along and and bringing intelligence to us it's really that's my thought for the day what a blessing they are and, and barb reminded me of that because she's an expert on these she's shells a teacher yeah. she comes down here and donates her time and effort and, and tells knowledge. everybody about the uh, amazing life of the shells and, yep. and there's just amazing everything's amazing isn't it <laughs> It is amazing. I'll tell you what. I mean, so it's we nice. just so many people take everything for granted. I mean, I kind of take things for granted out here sometimes. Well, you know, you I don't tend realize, to. you know, you know, when I'm walking along the beach picking up the shells. You know, it's just amazing when you think, where did those shells come from? Where did these everything. millions of shells that are along the beach here come from? Yeah, and they just keep coming every day. There's new ones. It's That's just amazing. <laughs> I mean, we're sitting on piles of those shells right now. Well, I understand, Barb. Is it true? I've I've heard that the, all the sand in the beach is grown as ground up shells. No, not all of it. A, a lot of it, but historically, um, a lot came down from the Appalachian Mountains thousands of years ago, 
and it just doesn't seem possible, but evidently it is. Well, what does it mean, ground up rock? Sand, yeah. Really, yeah. this sand is from the Appalachian? Some of it. Okay. Some of it. It's a combination wow. um, of, of shells and, and things. And, you know, that's something we could really look into more so we'd understand more about that yep. whole process about how Just something... Look at the immense quantity of sand. I mean, there's yeah, beaches I mean... that goes all the way out. It's an amazing amount of sand. Well, the oceans are... There's more ocean on this... this planet than there are than, than land. there is land yep. oh, yeah, you know which says if we're going to pay attention and take care of the land we better do equal and more attention to the health and and um, productivity of, of our right oceans. yeah I never thought of it like that mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah, and yeah. and we'd better be thinking about yeah, that. Quit dumping our garbage in. Hey, Roy, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing, man? I'm doing well. Oh boy. You hey, know that you. just points out. There's so many friends here that just walk by, and yep. and it's so much fun to talk about everything, including yep. shells and the beach. But I know I learn as much as they learned because <laughs> it's yep. the sharing of it, and exactly someone will ask a question, and and it just sparks me getting an answer and researching it and finding out and being yep. able to. Like one thing that, that I, I didn't know uh -huh. about the murex, and here we have two murexes here on the um, beach, right. the lace and the apple. The apple murex is the one on the bottom there. Yes. The apple murex and the, the lace. The lace, lace murex. And now from the mud flats of Zanzibar come another murex. Huh. And actually the one that you saw earlier, right. the pink murex. That one was just amazing. This Look at that murex shell. It is, and it maintains its beautiful pink color. And that was found here. Yeah. And it shouldn't have been here. Shouldn't have been here. This is, should have been down in the Keys. So anyway, they excrete um, a liquid. All the murexes, they're known for this. They excrete a liquid and it comes out yellow, but as soon as it reaches the oxygen in the air, it turns purple. Huh. And it goes way back. And when you see things that are colored by the Romans, oh, that's the what they used as purple was the, the, the excretion of the really? murex. Yeah. And that was royalty purple. That was royal purple. Yeah. And they still do it. Wow, the murex shells. And these two are the two we find here at Delnor Right here Wiggins. at Delnor yep. Wiggins. The Every, apple and the everything lace. Everything here. Yeah, you know, that's just amazing. It, it, it amazes me, and I've been doing this for so many years because I love it so much, but I'm amazed. I just have to go and look at them again and appreciate how beautiful they are yeah. and how fortunate we are to have all of them. You don't have a worm tip in your little... I do. You know what? A worm shell? What makes these? people? You know, we find some nice worm shells on the beach, and everybody's, do worms make those? They're always asking me, what makes this? Well... It would almost have to be, wouldn't it? I have no idea. I know it. See, you tell me something. I don't know. By what golly, makes I'll be here shells. next week. And I and found some really long ones too, longer than this. I but found I one think, almost a foot. Yeah, the worm is inside, and then as water goes in, and they take out what they need. But I will follow up on that. Yeah, I, people are always asking what makes that shell. Well, if you were going to say anything, you'd probably say carbon. Like the same thing that makes the shells. Oh, right. That's what it's made of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what mm -hmm. creature, what makes that? What animal makes that? The worm. What worm? <laughs> An I earthworm? Don't, I'm just saying that <laughs> from my own from my own silliness. Exactly. So but what I will know. do is I will find out. Oh, we stumped the shell lady. <laughs> no, no, no. You just motivated me. There you go. Okay. Never stumped. Always And worm motivated. rock, too. Everybody wants to know what makes it worm rock. You know, the... The yeah. pieces of worm rock we find. What kind of worms make all those little tubes in the worm the rock? The tubes. Oh, okay. You know um, what I'm talking about? That I brown do. rock. I do. It, it that looks we find? like a, something from a tree. Yeah, I mean. But I, it's it's. I, I'll bet of... you. Watch this. I'll bet you. I walk right over here. Okay. And find a piece of worm rock while we're. Let me look along the beach here. I want to get a piece of worm rock for Barb. Of course, I'm not going to find a piece when we're talking about it. Here's a little piece right here. Not, it's kind of a sorry specimen, but we find lots bigger pieces than this. Oh, it crawls up the tree out on the branches. Mm -hmm. 
This right here, this worm rock. Oh, worm that's, rock. That's coral. No. No, it's worms. And it's just got all these, you find big chunks of it with all these little tubes on it. I wish you'd asked me that a few minutes ago or I'd have ta taken out my all my information <laughs> books and gotten it. But that's another one I'll There you go. Now with. I gave you a homework assignment. I have a homework. But it's a fun one. Yep. It's a fun, I don't mind that homework at oh, all. Oh, there you go. I look like coral. I want to spin around right. quick here. Two of our friends are out here, Mike and Mary. And they all stay together so they Hey, guys, how you doing? Fine, how are you? Find anything? These, Mike and Mary, look for fossils along the beach. Everybody else is looking for shells. They're looking for fossils. Get some more fossils. More fossils today? This is a small one. Let's see what they got here. The color is really interesting on it, and you can see all the, um, um, the augers in it. Ooh. Like that. That's a piece. Oh, wow. That's I nice. like the little one. There's a nice shell one. Oh, look at that. A fossilized shell in there. Look at that. That is extremely cool. And usually they're laying the opposite way, so you don't see them when you walk by. Right. You'll see that. There's a lot of neat things in there, actually. There's another shell right in there. That's wow. Loaded. Wow. That's a great little specimen. It's heavy, too. But this is the one I like. I think that's so delicate. And I love the colors, that there's a little pink in there, white, <laughs> and you can see all When the pink. light hits yeah, this, this just right, yeah. it looks like a little whale or fish. Yeah, that looks it looks like a little eye up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest? I wow. really thought that one was really pretty. That is very neat. And the other side has a really nice. But look at yeah. when you look at it, when the yes. light's hitting it, oh, yeah. it looks yeah, like a little. Whale. It looks oh, like yeah, a little fish or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. That is yep. crazy. Wow. Neat finds. I that was cool. And there's a piece of bone. Fossilized oh, bone. A fossil, a fish bone probably, or not fish. Not fish bone. Animal bones. Animal bones. Ah. You can see the. How do you? you just, well, you can see the bone. In oh, more bone here. Yeah, you can yeah. see the bone right side. Oh wow! But you can actually see where the bone was. Yeah. Is. So who knows what that's from, huh? No, no idea. Yeah. Or how old it is. Right. That could have been from a mammoth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those used to walk the walk yeah. around here. And then just a few little shark teeth. Just little little shark teeth, but they're still things. shark teeth. Oh yeah, they certainly are. You have a great day. Yep, good luck. Always yeah. nice seeing you. Good seeing you. Enjoy this beautiful weather. <laughs> Uh-oh. Barbara's got some answers about the worm rock for us yeah. over here. This is a good book. Isn't it? What's that, the name of your talking. book? Florida's Living Beaches. Ah, okay. Tells so there you go, folks. Everything about beaches. Mm -hmm. So about what are... birds and shells and sand and sand dunes and, and the plants and the fish, and all of them. So I highly recommend well, tell it. Tell us about the worm rock. The, um, well, first I'll go to the, par the parchment tube worms you were talking okay. about. And um, it, it's whitish, curved, limp, paper-like tubes up to 12 inches. Yep. Each tube was formerly U-shaped beneath the sand and was home to a worm with specialized segments employing wow. paddle-like flaps, lobes, and cups. Huh. It doesn't exactly answer your thing about no, how they make them. But it is some type of worm that Definitely. made it. Definitely. Yep. The other one is the uh, calcareous, calcareous tube worms. And some of the worms form dense masses of parallel and intertwined tubes. And that's, tubes. that's the rock. That I, that's the, the rock, rock you were talking Where'd about. Where'd that go? Did you? Did, that's the is. little piece of worm rock there. And it's. C A L C A R E O U S. Well, everybody's going to have to get a copy of that book. It's, yep. the, it's Florida's the best. Living Beaches. And Barb says it's the best. Buy two copies when you're there because Barb and I get a percentage of the sales. <laughs> Don't we wish? <laughs> no, I'm sure the authors would appreciate that. Yep. <laughs> anyway, you can see that they, they're able to answer some of the questions oh, yeah. that we have. That's a great guide. When you're not here in the summertime, they can look in the book. They can look in the book and it has the seeds. It even has, which is so interesting, junk. Uh, beach junk. Beach junk. And, and it's called the hand of man. And it's when you find like 
like the glass. Like oh, yeah. we love sea our glass, beach yeah. glass and which is the and and little toys that come up and so I find I find so many little plastic toys on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Tons of them. There's sea glass. We find lots there's lots of sea glass here. I just I'm not into collecting it. I don't know why. And there are people that co collect just that. Oh, yeah. But there's containers, seals, Ugh. floats. All kinds of garbage. I remember finding a really interesting float after a hurricane came up on the beach. And, and after it was uh, Irma. Mm -hmm. No, Wilma. Wilma. And so you never, you know, after a hurricane or something, after it's all over, Take a walk on the beach oh, yeah. and you're going to Roy find... Roy and I are out here in the hurricane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the little hurricane doesn't scare us. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, I got to get rolling along, Barbara. Thank you Love to for see sharing you your again. shells, Hi your knowledge, everybody. your friendship, for all of it. Roy? Yeah? You eating? Are you eating something over here? No, I was just putting on uh, sunscreen putting some lip balm on, on there. Uh, <laughs> so you got a word? One, Give us one word. I don't care if it's a repeat. One word. One word? Gratefulness. Gratefulness. There you go. Be <laughs> grateful. You got it. That's the one word of the day. Can I have I love one it. word too? Let's Barb wants one word also. I do. Here we go. Friendship. Friendship. That's well, another that's great word. Everyone here at the beach, it's all about friendship. There you go. We with got nature right. and with each other. You got it. And here's a great example of it. The three of us right here. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, good friends. We're grateful for our friendship. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Have a great Monday. Yep, enjoy this beautiful weather. Remember, Barb's out here every Monday morning in season. She comes out at, oh, about 8 o'clock, sets up her shells, and she's here to answer any questions you might have. If you find something on the beach you don't know what it is, bring it by, and Barb will try to give you an answer. Just gorgeous out here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Spend some time checking out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. I know you're going to find something you like. When you do, hit that like button. More importantly, hit the share button. Share it with your friends. Look at that beautiful water. All the shells along the beach. That water is 74 degrees. We're looking at highs today in the upper 80s. Tomorrow, getting into the 90s. Unbelievable. Unbelievable for February. There's another look up our beautiful beach. Hey, have a great Monday if you have the day off. Come on out to the beach. Be safe, whatever you do. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.